I was hoping The Sims would die with The Sims 4. Honestly, I don't want that to happen. I care about this game and I don't know why. I wish I didn't. I wish I did not give a F about this game, but I still do. They are destroying. Like, who are these people in charge of The Sims 4? What are their goals? What is going on? Why are y'all doing this? Whoever was in charge of the decision to ban the game initially in Russia, you are a disgusting person. Are you pandering to Western LGBT plus community or are you just what 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 I need answers quickly quickly <sighs> I get physically angry because like the only type of people who can do this are people who are really truly in their hearts not in support of LGBT community. You were not helping anybody by restricting representation. That doesn't help anyone. It doesn't help the western people over here. It sure doesn't help the LGBT community over there and all you're doing is enforcing whatever they got going on over there. You're disgusting. Okay. Well, hello, welcome to my channel. I know y'all hear that little beat in the back. Wait a minute. Don't ask me to be smart on here. I'm playing video games. Leave me alone. Let me play my video games. You need to leave me alone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're attacking me. <laughs> I feel attacked. No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. What's the point of the game? She has nothing left to live for! Oh my... Are you serious? <laughs> Hello, hey, hi, how are you? You clicked on this video for a reason. Okay, let me just start off by saying this video is literally just a way for me to process what's been going on with The Sims 4 because the amount of chaos that I have seen within the game and the community is tragic. <laughs> It's so sad. Like this game was literally I don't I don't know if this was the very first game I played, but it was one of the first. Baby couldn't even ride a bike before I started playing this game. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on, the reasoning. I mean, I guess I kind of do, like it's common sense. I blame EA for mostly everything in this game. I feel like the root of the problems of The Sims 4 and The Sims goes back to EA. As a quick disclaimer, all opinions are valid. If you disagree, girl, leave it in the comments. Boy, let me hear it. If you got facts, if you got, you know, things to back you up, go ahead let me know and if you do agree tell me why because i'm obviously not alone you've seen the videos you've seen the tweets but what we haven't seen is the transparency from the sims which <laughs> i'm not i don't even know if i'm gonna talk about in this video whatever also i do want to mention that yes i still play the sims 4 but like it's literally just for fun like i don't understand how to explain that before i used to be like a completionist i used to want to make videos of the sims i used to want to review every pack i used to like i was very into the sims no i only pick up the sims when i have nothing to do and i don't plan on like making any like sims positive content of me actually playing the game unless i want to and decide randomly i don't know I just don't play The Sims the same anymore. It's literally just for fun and for me to do what I want to do. I have a whole video on my channel explaining why I still play The Sims 4. Because realistically, the way my opinions are, <laughs> how I feel about The Sims, you would think, oh, I wouldn't play it. You would think I'm done. I don't know. I keep going back. People wouldn't be screaming this loud if there wasn't anything there. There's obviously something there. We're still hoping for something. But to be honest, The Sims 4 is never going to be amazing. It's never going to be amazing. It's never going to be one of those games in The Sims franchise that we just remember and just appreciate. No. If that is the case, it's going to be for different reasons. Completely different reasons other than The Sims 4 was an amazing game. It's not. No. The Sims 4 is going to be a big, fat, nasty mess on The Sims timeline if the sims timeline continues which if you would have asked me three months ago i was hoping the sims would die with the sims 4 but honestly i don't want that to happen i care about this game and i don't know why i wish i didn't i wish i did not give a f about this game but i still do they are destroying like who are these people in charge of the sims 4 what are their goals what is going on why are y'all doing
doing this okay let me actually get into the meat of what the point of this video is the whole reason the community is on fire right now is because that disgusting release with wedding stories and i quickly not even quickly firstly i want to go ahead and address the whole russian release controversy nasty no whoever was in charge of the decision to ban the game initially in russia you are a disgusting person i don't care i don't care i don't care you're disgusting what was the thought process what are the excuses the excuse is not because of the loss ignorance cannot be excused because y'all been releasing the sims 4 in russia since the launch of the sims 4 so y'all know the loss y'all know what to do y'all know how to handle yourselves so y'all can be in line with the regulations they have going on in russia so what was the excuse y'all have had gay sims in the sims 4 since the beginning so what's the problem? Are y'all really in support of the LGBT or are y'all just pandering? Which one is it? Are you pandering to Western LGBT plus community or are you just, what, what, what? I need answers quickly, quickly. What's going on? This, uh, this makes my skin boil and my blood like, <sighs> <laughs> I get physically angry because like the only type of people who can do this are people who are really truly in their hearts not in support of LGBT community like they no, like you can't be because the logic behind this oh we want to up support or keep in line whatever they said keep in line with our uh, morals with the LGBT community no baby that was not that was not the restrictions were disgusting you were not helping anybody by restricting representation that doesn't help anyone it doesn't help the western people over here it sure doesn't help the lgbt community over there and all you're doing is enforcing whatever they got going on over there that lgbt doesn't belong over there that's all you're doing you're disgusting i doubt the person in charge of whoever made that decision will ever see this video but in the one the 0.001 percent chance you do i do not like you i don't even know what you look like i don't know who you are i don't know what your name is but i do not like you and you're disgusting that was a disgusting God, like <sighs> ignorance is not an excuse you can't say you were trying to uh be supportive of the lgbt morals and keep up with your guidelines or whatever no no baby y'all knew they knew they had everything ready to go they've been doing this for seven years they knew so no shut up you didn't know what you was talking about but like <laughs> oh don't let me get started to be honest I think this was all a cover up. All of this was a cover up to give more time so the Sims team could work on the pack. This was just to give a week, first of all, which I don't think a week can fix anything, which I'm about to talk about in a second. Give the Sims team more time to work on the pack while dashing a little controversy. They knew, oh my God, they knew this was gonna be stupid because this doesn't even make sense. I don't even know, how would this even make sense? That's how I know whoever made, whoever made this decision. You cannot be a part of the LGBT community. Someone who understands a girl that would get it would know that this was not the way to do it at all i say all that to say they knew what they were doing because they wanted to give more time for the sims team and they wanted to dash a little controversy and also pander to the western lgbt community but let me talk about why they needed more time because obviously like i said before you've seen the videos you've seen the tweets you've seen the statements you've seen the articles if you're here learning about this for the first time i advise you to please go watch other people because they give you facts straight up facts this this video is literally just opinion based and me trying to organize what's going on in my head because this is honestly sickening <laughs> this is gross like it's icky <laughs> you don't like it anybody with eyes and anybody who's been playing games for more than a month can understand that that pack was unfinished that was an unfinished product that you sold for a profit disgusting ea <laughs> final software or not anything you put out for public consumption should be finished should be working if you put out a flashlight that doesn't flash <laughs> or light like ea does not care <laughs> first of all that whole week that the pack got delayed what was that gonna fix because honestly a week is not enough time for game developers to literally finish a game not even fix they had to finish the game which still wasn't finished and i don't know if y'all peeped that there was no patch notes they knew they know they know how disgusting they're being right now they know there was no patch notes no transparency i'm gonna oh i'm literally gonna be the person this book where's the transparency you kept saying that where is it well, i need details where's the deep dives where's the patch notes where's the articles i need answers quickly <laughs> like <laughs> y'all are doing the most 
at the same time not doing enough the pack is still broken which i am not gonna buy first of all i refuse to buy that pack when all this is coming out i was like i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait to buy the pack i'm gonna wait till it goes on sale and i'm gonna wait till modders come out to fix it fact, <laughs> the sad fact that i didn't even think i'll wait until ea or the sims team fixes the pack that didn't even cross my mind i said I will wait until modders fix the pack. They come in clutch. Those are the people who care about us. They care. EA doesn't. Honestly, I feel bad for the Sims team. Oh, I feel so bad for the Sims team because a part of me feels like they probably feel the exact same way we do. They probably are screaming inside because they are forced to put out these broken unfinished lack of content packs like what even is the sims anymore is it even could you even still call this a life simulation you probably still can the same thing that described the sims 2 you cannot use to describe the sims 4 it's no obviously yes they're different games but i feel like they're different genres at this point i'm going off on a tangent we are talking about the unfinished pack and how i'm not gonna buy it because it's literally at this point it's just gonna mess up my game the whole point that made me decide that I wasn't going to buy this pack like at all well I don't know about at all I'm still going back and forth but what made me decide it's gonna be some months some months or something big is gonna have to happen for me to buy this pack I was watching little Simsy's video and she pointed out the fact that this basically just breaks weddings yeah weddings really didn't work at first but I kind of had a little way to make them work like I had my little things I would go take them to get you know wedding pictures done I would put my sims in groups you can actually still have your sims get married once you download this pack weddings are just broken like nothing works you can't do it but then at that point you're like okay fine this pack doesn't work and I just want the world and I want the clothes tough luck you can't disable the gameplay there's no way to disable the gameplay and the sims will never add that because they don't want you to disable i don't know i feel like they should own up to their stuff and put a disable gameplay option in there we would be fine with the chaos that is the sims 4 if they actually just own up to it be like look we're making a bad game y'all are literally gonna buy it anyway like i swear ea could literally come out and say yes this wedding pack is bad and people will still continue to buy this pack and more packs to come and ea will still be making tons of money from the sims 4 and then can we just talk about the pack like forget the glitches can we talk about the pack no we're not gonna start like this we're not gonna start trying to kill me trying to sacrifice me it just looks suspicious you don't want anybody to see you but when it runs up to you it's like scary like i want to run away it's about to come i feel it where is it at <laughs> Nowhere? I don't like that it comes out of nowhere. <laughs> if you expect hardcore gaming, you came to the wrong channel. I'm gonna tell you that right now. If this makes anybody angry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go. Taste love and chicken grease. <laughs> okay, my.